collaboration with Black History Month, the Kentucky Derby Museum debuts a new exhibit about one of the best jockeys in horse racing history. WLKY's Colin Mayfield tells us about the first black jockey to earn enshrinement into the National Museum of Racing's Hall of Fame. Well, one of racing's most prestigious jockeys is being honored here at the Kentucky Derby Museum. The life of Isaac Burns Murphy, the Prince of Jockeys, is here. One of the most highly regarded jockeys of all time. Isaac Burns Murphy won nearly 44% of the races he entered. He took home the roses in 1884, 1890, and 1891. The Kentucky native's legacy has lived on in one of America's longest running sports. And even though racing landscape is different, at that time he's riding in the most prominent races of his day. Murphy is at the center of a new exhibit at the Derby Museum based on a biography by Pelham McDaniels, a professor and curator of African American collections at Emory University. The exhibit, The Prince of Jockeys, The Life of Isaac Burns Murphy, looks at the success and achievement of not just Murphy, but the impact of African American jockeys on racing. They learn a lot about the history of the time, uh, what it was like, uh, the African American experience, just in general, and for jockeys right after the Civil War. Uh, find about a little about that context about what happened to some of those jockeys as we get to the turn of the 20th century. Born and raised in Kentucky, Murphy's love for horses grew on a farm close to Frankfort. Rode a lot in Kentucky, Old Latonia Racetrack here at Churchill Downs. Uh, rode in Chicago as well. Rode throughout this region. Very prominent on the East Coast, and we're talking about after the Civil War. Curator of collections at the Derby Museum, Chris Goodlett, says during Murphy's time racing, it was common for jockeys to be African American. They were the prominent jockeys. They were caring for the horses. They were the ones who were riding them. The very first Kentucky Derby, 1875, 13 to the 15 jockeys were African American. 140 derbies later, his legacy lives on. This is a topic that still resonates, especially around derby time. People will call and ask us about African Americans in thoroughbred racing. I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. Now, the exhibit will be on display in the second floor Pollard Gallery through the end of May.